People don't want to be around people that are continuously trying to compete. How many more selfies can we put up? How many more Rolexes do you want? Let's go. Bet. Have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the dead where they living. Pride. Whoa. Said I'm at my prime. So I get this question asked of me quite often is, you know, I set my goals, I set my visions. Why don't they actually happen? And it happened to me and happened for me for many years. I mean, throughout my whole life, it kind of was the same story. I'd set my goals and they kind of wouldn't happen. And I really started to realize that there was a formula to actually setting your goals correctly. And the formula is a four step program that I've kind of like really started to apply um, in my own life. And it's been incredible. And, and I shared it last night at a future female conference that uh, really went well. People were really excited about it because it gave them the real tools to get to ask the right questions using the right part of their bodies. So there are three parts of your body that you can make decisions from. Uh, the first part is your head, is are you making decisions that are logical, are you making decisions that you've been taught to make, have you made decisions that are safe? Um, then you can also make decisions from your primal desires, are you better than your competition, are you sexier to the opposite sex, these are the people that spend so much money on Rolexes and Ferraris, these people are all about being better than the competition and the sort of teenager emotional space. The only way we should be asking questions is from the heart. And the way we go about asking questions from the heart is the formula. It's a four-step formula. And the first step is follow what shines brightest. Um, what this means is what catches your eye wherever you are? What intrigues you when you're online? What articles do you find yourself reading? What YouTube videos do you keep yourself keep watching over and over? And you don't understand why you're doing that, but that's what shines brightest. What happens once you start shine, following what shines brightest, you start following curiosity and the sort of level of curiosity that you have really starts pulling you into the subject matter a lot deeper. And as you start getting more and more curious, what starts happening is you become more and more excited. And that's step three is this, in this level of excitement, you start becoming infused by this topic so much, you start watching it and reading it so much, you start becoming an expert at it. You're inspired when you're exposed to this information that has shined brightest, that has led you to curiosity, that's moved you into excitement. And finally, when you've reached this level of excitement, guess what? You have endless energy. In the space of endless energy, what you have is access to creativity, to innovation. And you know what? People want to be around people that are excited, that are inspired, that are creative that are innovative. People don't want to be around people that are continuously trying to compete with other people, always trying to be sexier to the opposite sex. The craze of selfies on Instagram drives me mad. How many more selfies can we put up? How many more Rolexes do you want? And people really don't want to be around people that are safe, making the logical decisions. Because people are boring. So the four-step program that I've been following to make the right decisions, to set the right goals, to vision and create the reality that you want. Follow what shines brightest. It leads you to curiosity. In that space of curiosity, you eventually become so super excited and it gives you access to endless energy. Good luck out there. Whoa. Said I'm at my prime.